Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be continuing Life is Strange 2. In the last episode, our brother, Daniel, has been brainwashed by this Karen. And then we met the actual Karen named, named our mom. <laughs> our mom, Karen. Um, God, Wild Mice Ranch. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm still mad about that. I took a few weeks off. <laughs> I've, I've made enough episodes that I could take like three weeks off, so it's been a while. I'm a little more calmed down now, but like that lady pissed me off, man. Like, jeez Louise. And, uh, what? Are we at Karen's house? Uh, she's our mom. She's not our stepmom, right? Why are we in the shower with him? Does this have to? Ha oh, okay. He was beat. Oh yeah, he was beat by the freaking like pastor or whatever. Oh, poor boy. Okay. Oh my gosh. I feel uncomfortable right now. <laughs> I don't want to be looking at a young boy in the shower. Ugh. What? You don't want to put clothes on? Or like... <laughs> what are they, Daniel? Oh, is it like clothes that she put out? Probably. <laughs> okay. Okay. Man. Man. Didn't clean the pain away, but <sighs> that felt good. Okay. So it's not a super spiffed up place. I appreciate that there's some reflection. Uh, I guess let's look. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Does she? Is that why she left? Oh, we're gonna find out why she left, and it Damn. was like a good reason. You look bad. Yeah. Oh. Gotta change that dressing soon. Oh, yeah. Alright. Okay. Doesn't. Get out. So, this is a motel? Okay. Wonder how long Karen has been here. Roadmap. This country is just way too big. What country is it? I don't know. It probably says in a million different places. So Karen did check it out. What? Sunday fun Wonder day. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Come join Reverend, Reverend Fisher and new disciple Daniel for a private picnic. Oh, all you can eat barbecue. Wow. Limited seats, $20 donation. Nope, nope. Karen's bag. Let's look through all those. Keychain! Kinda pretty. What is it? Wonder if she made it. Oh, it's like a piece of metal with. I know I shouldn't peek, but. Damn. Oh, I cannot read this. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Tracing closer every mile, my heart goes racing. Sore, I remember, know the feelings. There, there's no fighting back this beating, tearing apart my core. Early morning blues, coffee, red-eyed truckers and sad families. Bad eggs, not the waitress' fault. She's a quick, hurried one, probably ending a long night shift. Tag says Clementine, 22-ish, redhead dyed brunette, brown. <laughs> eyebrows and skin tones don't lie, Irish descent, owner's daughter maybe, Mah Mahoney's, vague, polite, smile, busy mind, mildly clumsy, looks distracted, anxious, young b cook called her Clemmy, brother, boyfriend, boyfriend, apologizes when the orders are late and she's the one getting roasted. Do mom and dad know you're dating on the job? 
let me. <laughs> Mixing up work and love seldom makes a good match. That a, that a brand new baby bump under the stained apron. It's 2017 and young folks are still busy making babies. I guess nothing ever really changes. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, okay. Glad to know she learned the lesson. Aww. So she, like, left us, left us. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Um, Red Mahoney's Builder City. Tip not included. <laughs> um. What? Uh, turning forward to look back, making the same choice. Twice, twice. My solitude said days and dreamy nights just find myself looking forward to turn back. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm done here. Where is she? I guess just giving me space or like... One dollar. Casino token. Okay. Sure. Let's take it. What are these pants? Just whatever pants she has. Huh. Struggle with this too many cap. open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing. Geolocate. Password is hope you find your son. Oh, okay. I like the little tape here. Um, one, one, two, seven, oh, eight. Yay, technology. <laughs> she came prepared. Welcome to your new life at the Universal Uprising Church, Haven Point. Ah, the Haven Point community. Haven Point, Nevada is living oasis where individuals and families can live out their faith, a community dedicated to teaching of teachings of Christ. All who share our faith are welcome. Hospital, uh, beloved, it is a faithful thing you will do for your efforts for these brothers, strangers, as they're, they are. 3 John 15. Gratitude. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice with that. Uh, mission. Accept the Lord. Spread the word of Jesus. Keep faith. Community to seek and save the lost. A message from Reverend Mother Elizabeth Fisher. As the pastor of our holy church, I have devo devoted my life and love to, our to the teachings of the gospel and our Lord. Is that the lady? Is that the lady that pissed me off? <clears throat> Excuse me. Who are you? Uh, I was blessed since childhood to be given this calling, and it is my privilege to spread the word and pr preside over the, this loving, loving, righteous community of Haven Point. I look forward to meeting each other, to meeting each other, and everyone who seeks out the humble refuge. Together, we bring the journey to uh, look good. Uh, bless you all. Reverend Mother Apparently doesn't not look me. too humble. Eh? Doesn't write too humble? A slice of heaven of haven point. One of the great mysteries of Nevada is how it balances the Holy Spirit with the Holy Dollar. Few tourists travel from around the world to seek religion here, but in the tight-knit Christian community of Haven Point, Nevada, a charismatic pastor has inspired a devout following. As she told me in an interview at her peaceful church office, Reverend Elizabeth Elizabeth, <laughs> Elizabeth Fisher has spent her whole life as a humble dis disciple of the Lord, feeling to the call to share his love and glory in the dark age. I have powerful experience as a child that put me in the righteous path. She smiles gently and touches my hand. But this is not about me or st my story, is, as anybody in our wonderful church can tell you. Ah! Excuse me. Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Yeah. Uh, speak with hushed awe of their pastor and inspired. The Reverend Fisher just wants to share her blessings with us, says Corey Johnson, 34, a recent addition to the congregation. I was pretty cynical before I went to the to one of her revivals. You could feel the electricity when she spoke. People were crying, including me. Looks like a roach motel. A roach motel? But nobody will find me there. Sand Snake Motel. Okay. I was like, oh, don't, don't click that ad, but that's funny. 
Hot Dog Man Mustard Party 2. Play now. Can I play it? Oh, okay. Are we gonna skedaddle? Karen was always into low tech. <laughs> I even think it's the one she had back then. Okay. This thing is killing my back. Yeah. I got bruises on my bruises. Oh. Um, what's in it? Why is it so heavy? Like my jacket, I guess. Oh, it's all broken. When this mother trucker grabbed Daniel's stuff, I just snapped. What's this? Pencil case. Can't believe this lasts this long. Huh. Uh, so these are all the things that we collected. Anything new? I'm assuming this- oh, Sean. Beyond the point. Okay. I want to see the new stuff. Date. Was in a coma for weeks, blind and effed in the police custody. Need to sneeze. Gosh darn it. Ah. I gotta sneeze. No depth perception, no crap. Is that why his writing is so bad? Focusing immediate migraine, going crazy in here. Woke up crying. Oh. Like, what's the difference of his writing? Yeah. Definitely worse. Oh. Does it say tread? Huh. Ugh, itchy, itchy. Sneezy. Huh. April 3rd, 2nd? 2nd? Uh, special secret agent Flores. Uh, cops still can't find Daniel after the explosion. Happy birthday, Daniel. Where are you? Where are you, in Daniel? And you know? And no, and, and you. Sorry. Uh, Clarence Stevens sent me a nice letter. So lovely I read it twice. Weird how I miss them now. So cool to hear how Cap Captain Spirit 2 glad he's doing fine. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad. So glad he is around. I F Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. Did I? Wait, what the heck is this picture? Um, tried to frame me again. Can't blame her for trying. Had to knock the guard officer out so I could escape. My anus is F. To keep going, Sean. Like they didn't have enough. A giant ear already. What? I'm so not lit for the trip. <laughs> Headaches are killing me. Have no cash, no not no nothing. Chased by many ghosts, but gotta love on what's <sighs> not fit for the child. But gotta focus on what's mo most important. Reach Nevada, find it. I'm just trying to read it. Ah. <sighs> Let's read it. Uh, so hard to drive. Effing miracle I haven't been in a wreck yet. Yeah. Uh, gonna pull over soon so I can rest. Driving in the dark. One eye is the absolute worst. W would feel a lot safer walking to the edge of the cliff on a moonless night. I'm just turning... Do not disturb on. Um. Ooh. Yikes. Oh, no baby. <gasps> oh. Let racist dickheads <laughs> humiliate me so they wouldn't beat the, sh the crap out of me. Uh, hurts, but I don't care. My only priority is to find Daniel. Hmm. No biggie, ego. <laughs> uh, no more gas, gotta walk, end of the road. Oh, ego. Oh. At least they didn't beat me. Uh, no more gas, gotta walk. End of the road. I got picked up by a truck driver not far from the Haven Point. I was nervous, but the guy was sweet. Faith in humanity equals somehow restored. Needed, needed that to keep going. Well, that's sweet. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't do anything weird. Oh my gosh. 
okay, Daniel has been brainwashed by a cult. <laughs> he wants to stay with them, and I effed up with this reverend. I just fell right into her trap. I'm so stupid. Also, Karen, WTF is she doing here? How did she find us? Don't want anything from her. Nada. Okay. Um, wow, we've made it far. So... Where? Oh, no, 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 I want to look again. This no, thing no, no, is yeah, killing me. I know, I know, I know. Um, roads. Bear station. So this is where... This was the other one. Rules. Oh! So these are the different maps. Uh, roads. We made it from Sandcastle, Bear Station, and the woods. This is right here. Rules. Where did we... Lame Avenue, Seattle. Um, Reynolds House. <clears throat> Christmas Market. Abandoned house. Okay. And then we... Salem? Pot farm. <laughs> wow, we've traveled a lot. Freaking... Ranch of hell. Avoid. Met the punk gutter gang. Hippie paradise. Wait, what? Hippie paradise. Got off. But this is the pot farm, didn't we got But the Oh we came from that way. Uh Faith. And we're coming from this way? Motel. Wow. Hospital. Went a long way. Desert. Wow. Haven point. Motel. Seven thirteen? What does that mean? Okay, I guess we didn't collect. I got oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on! I keep pressing buttons. I want to look at everything. Secret. Uh, okay, so we got all this. That's pretty cool. Can we like attach it? I don't care about the hospital. One dollar. My back. Oh my gosh! Shut up! I want to attach this them. This thing. This one. Oh, but I like to bear. Can I only have one at a time? Um, hold on. No, I don't care about the church, so I'm not going to have it on my backpack. Oh, and I like the bear. <laughs> okay. On my cool. back. I got bruises on my bruises. A sweater. We're just looking at it. Okay. Oh, Karen Snow. Be right back. Hey. We'll find out. Uh, popped out for some for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. Uh, new t-shirt and shorts in the bathroom. All yours if they lit. If they fit. Uh, might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back, Karen. Okay. Jeez, it Dear. only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. Mrs. Diaz? Oh, my name is Jacob. Oh, and I worked with your sons, Sean and Daniel, on a farm in California. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. Box address. If you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He think He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number. Daniel might be in danger and like he knew about it. Please hurry. Oh like wow. Okay. Um yeah. Look outside. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. Yeah, hopefully. I'm not going out. Oh, we're calling the number. Better wait okay. for Karen in here. Mobile phone. Karen was always into low tech. 
Yeah, well, use it. I even think it's the one she had yeah, back then. Yeah, use it. What? Then... Jeez. Seven, seven, five, it only took five, Super five, Mom five, eight zero, years one, to one, give one, a shit. Okay, well, why don't we call him then? There's she came prepared. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me, what am I doing? Time oh. to hit up Jacob. Yeah, 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 but like, where? <sighs> call? I can't call from there. What do you mean? No. Well, time to hit up Jacob. Yeah, but like with what? The phone's right there. Am I supposed to be using like... <laughs> oh, this phone, not Karen's phone. This Bible. Is there... Okay, I was gonna say, is there something written in the Bible? There usually is. Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. Yeah, so months. You found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Oh, Daniel, no. how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. What? What kind of danger is he in? He's at a church. Like Daniel, he says. Or this guy, Jacob, says he might be in. He couldn't trouble. really talk. I really should finish reading this. Someday. Oh, well, no, this, oh, this is so messed up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, are we grabbing this? Are we gonna go? What's going on? Can we go? Draw. We're gonna draw this. We're gonna try to draw this. I got oh. a few moments to myself, so let's practice. Yeah. Oh. That sucks. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild and huge. Huge? What do you mean? Okay. Just draw now. Yep. Don't think about anything else. Yep. Oh, he's a little bit happy. No, he's not. <laughs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw oh, now. Okay. I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long ride. Wow, this is a lot. Whoa! These mountains oh. really inspire me. Wow, that is crazy. Oh, Daniel. That's cool. Alright. I love that. Back to reality, dude. Carascura? Carascura? The achievement. Um, okay, now what? Bed. Wait for Karen. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Yeah. Wait for tomorrow afternoon. Oh. Hey. Hello. Sorry it took so long. Fucking store was packed. How you feeling? Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm uh -huh. okay. Double cheese, no onion. Ooh. Right? 
That'll do. Double cheese, no onion. That sounds good. A burger. <gasps> I might have to have that for lunch. <laughs> Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. That's nice. Hey, don't wolf that down. I am or at a least wolf take a breath. <sighs> don't tell I me how to eat. Care. Yeah. Sean, I do. Come on, Karen. Don't be telling me how Don't act all hurt. Oh. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple of years ago, you didn't sleep next to him every night. <laughs> Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk. Because we do have to get your brother yeah. out of a cult. Yeah. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? We had each other. Um, got some help. We almost didn't. Yeah, we almost didn't. We almost didn't. We just kept moving. Yeah. And nobody helped you along the way? Um, you know I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. So, ask me anything. Why did you leave? Yeah. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Hmm. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the you hardest decision I You can find ways around that, I feel. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Dad know? Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken, he was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. Hmm. What are you doing so here? So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. Oh. That's it. <clears throat> Arizona. Arizona? Holy shit. Like it's just drink? lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New really? York didn't really do me good, so. My gosh, my ear's so itchy. It's ear. Yeah. Okay. I think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Mm. I, know. I know you are, Karen. 
That still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Okay. I need to sneeze again. Man, I need like some fruit. My mouth is so dehydrated. Like the kind that water doesn't cure. Only fruit. Is this supposed to be a bird on the shirt? Oh. Sean, whatever oh. you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. Okay. Um. My ghost. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff. Okay. But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just. I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. Mm, I almost well. did. I uh, want a clean break. Good thing you didn't. You want a clean break. But you wanted a <laughs> clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Oh. Cool plan, Mom. You heard Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of it. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church cult. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. They're just taking it too far. Like, he's a little kid. You don't have a position over him. Uh, what did you do? So, what did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time She's looking I at me. <laughs> what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. Hmm. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, and I tried. But I wanted to find my own way, with no secure blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. <laughs> I tried to escape that. Worth it? Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. Peace. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. Um, did you miss us? So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He's dead now. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I miss watching you Does grow she up. Know about Daniel's superpower? See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. Uh, we used to do so much. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. 
or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. Whatever. <laughs> you sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. <sighs> oh my gosh, it's been 35 minutes. Yikes. hated when I smoked. You okay? He didn't want me to die an early death. <laughs> Fuck. He did. Life can be so cynical sometimes. Yeah. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much. Bird. When we did, Chilly. I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. Now we just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend Lila. Hmm. Sitting on the porch. Smoking. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. <laughs> shut the hell up and so watch the just universe kind of do its own thing. Probably has a lot better music than this with the uh, copyright. Um, well, I am gonna end the episode here. I didn't mean to make it so long. I should have stopped after a little bit. I don't know. Um, yeah, well, that's interesting. Getting to know our, our mom after uh, quite a while. Like Daniel's whole life. Eh. So we've got some people to help us. Oh, I can stop it at any point. Well, if you enjoyed, uh, leave a like. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next episode. Bye!